We teach you how to treasure hunt your traumas. It's a counseling technique that Gary Smalley, my best friend, used his whole life. He taught me 40 years ago. And it's after the fact, not while you're in it. But you see, most hmm. people, when they go through a trauma, that creates a Mount Everest between them and God. So it is an obstacle. So we got to take that obstacle down because Paul says, in all things and for all things, give thanks for this is the will of God concerning you. But how can I do that? How can I possibly thank God for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that becomes an obstacle. Well, when you treasure hunt, you find out that that trauma, every single trauma you've ever been through, and you've been through some, I've been through some, Randy's been through some, every trauma, uh, the pressure from that trauma creates these magnificent 10 carats, sometimes a 100 carat diamond, but they're hidden. Mm -hmm. So we show you how to find the treasure in the trauma, and when you do, your view of that trauma changes to where you can actually thank God from your heart, not just your brain, mm -hmm. for what you went through. And we've done that with women who have been abused, women who, um, you know, the book gives one example of Gary talking to a woman who was married to a professional football player, and they were both believers and they loved each other, but their marriage was going down. Mm -hmm. And they traced it real quick. It only took about five minutes to figure out that she had experienced this terrible trauma when she was a child. From the age of six to 16, she was um, sexually abused by her dad every single day. Mm -hmm. Then she left home at 16. And, um, and yet when Gary treasured, so she had been under that weight her whole life and didn't even know it. She was melancholy. She went through life like this, mm -hmm. right? And when they treasure hunted, they, she found about six diamonds, and we get into that in that <laughs> chapter. And it was like, oh my gosh. And then she could, Lord, you know, you never thank God for evil, but you thank him for how he can use that to bring you into more intimacy with him. And that's what happened that fast. Wow. And we actually had somebody that I, I shared the manuscript with who something very similar had happened to her in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And it delivered her overnight to where she could go to her dad who had just gotten out of prison and she had this incredible forgiveness. We get into that in the book. Uh, and he saw the love of Christ and the forgiveness of Christ he had never seen. And he had about four months to live. And he said, wow. is there any way God could ever forgive me wow. for the terrible things I did? Mm. And he came to Christ. And that last four months, she finally had the dad of her dreams because she had treasure hunted. <laughs> 